On February 9, 2012, Paolo Adaria was given the Forest Hero Award by the United Nations Forum on Forest Secretariat for dedicating himself to the protection of the Amazon and its forest-dependent communities. Now, first of all, the Amazon is the largest tropical forest in the world, and it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. The Amazon is really uh, a passion because it's not only the largest tropical forest in the world, but uh, it contains most of the biodiversity in this planet. You have uh, millions of people living from the Amazon. You have, uh, still now, at the 21st century, you have uh, remote indigenous groups that are just being spotted. Can you imagine people isolated up to now and refusing contacts with uh, what we call us, the white, the Westerners? It's incredible. It's really incredible. And this region is being destroyed at a rate that is unacceptable. And Brazil has become uh, one of the largest producers of food in the planet. Yeah? And has been very important for the Brazilian economy, the exports of uh, commodities, yeah, from beef or soya, for instance. So if they change the code, the uh, size of forest area that will be destroyed will be incredibly big. So it will be a disaster for the forest, a disaster for indigenous people living in the forest. Something very interesting happening. Uh, more uh, the global community is concerned with the fate of the forest and the, the climate crisis at the end of this has, has helped it because uh, the forest destruction contributes a lot to uh, global warming, which is causing uh, climate change. So the world finally out is awake that uh, if you protect the forest, which is the cheapest way, uh, it is the cheapest way of saving the climate. So we are not necessarily trying to protect forests because we love uh, monkeys or, or tigers, but we are also trying to protect the forest to save our, our own life, or the life of our species. This hero, uh, name of the award, is, a, is a beautiful. But as I said, there are heroes every day. I'm proud of being recognized by the UN, that this will contribute to my fight. But it's not my only fight, it's the fight of my organization, it's the fight of millions of people, of other environmentalists, scientists, politicians, that are really trying to, to make a difference. This is the award uh, given to me by the UN today. And I need to say that I'm honored to receive it. And I also need to say that for Greenpeace is a great award that show how important is our fight for the forests in this planet. Uh, it's also a recognition by the UN that forests are at great risk and we need to continue to fight.